welcome back everybody to another edition of Nick and Narf, two brothers in Tucson, bringing you music for the ages. As Frank likes to say, we like, uh, what do you say about your ears? You like, we care for, we care for your ears. And Frank, you don't even know our, you don't you know, even know our theme. And you know where he told me that came from? Tell him where it came from. Came from hearing it. I went to see, I was so blessed to see Jimi Hendrix in concert in 1968 at the Hollywood Bowl. I went with my buddy John and, uh, I, and, and maybe I think it was one or two other people, but we were lucky enough to get tickets. And during the show, he, while he was tuning up in the, between songs, he kept saying, excuse me for the delay. The only reason I do this is because I care for your ears. There and you so go. that's Jimmy become, Hendrix. I've taken it out as a theme song for why we're here to play what we do for you because we appreciate you, we love music, and we care for not not only so, ours, but yours. Speaking of caring for your ears, we're going to be playing a uh, an artist that I came to like much later in life. Uh, I, I when he first came out with some of his songs, I I thought they were good, but I didn't appreciate them as much as I do now. And that's of course Al Stewart. Uh, Al Stewart, born in uh, Wales, right? Scotland. Oh, Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> I'm sorry. In uh, 1945. But what's some in- interesting facts about him? He knew Yoko Ono before John did. He also shared a flat with Paul Simon. Maybe if he'd, maybe if he'd married at Yoko, the Beatles would have stayed together longer. Yes, he wouldn't have been shot. Al, it's all your fault. <laughs> no, it is. <isn't>. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, he shared a flat with Paul Simon. I think in London prior to a show that he was sponsoring. And so he'd been around. People know who he is. He worked with Alan Parsons, who, as a matter of fact, uh, produced both of these albums that we're going to be listening. Not this one. No, not, not, not Past, that Present, Future. He, okay. he produced Year of the, Year Cat, the Cat and, and um, this one here, Time, Time Passages, Passages, which is the, the, the song we're going to be doing first. My pick, my favorite all-time Al Stewart song. Some other interesting things on this that I really want you to listen to is the saxophone playing of Phil Kenzie. Phil Kenzie is has played with you name it anybody in the music industry that is huge he's played with them and when you hear his lead and the music that he plays during the course of this song and others you'll know why he's played with everybody want I I mean we're talking Eagles forget it even the Beatles anybody you want to mention he played with them yeah, Phil Kenzie's sax work on on Time Passages and also on Year of the Cat, Year of the Cat. just tremendous. Sick. Al Stewart, Nick and I were lucky enough to see Al Stewart, and actually, I saw Al Stewart eight months before we saw them together. Al Stewart was doing a tour, yeah. uh, reprising, playing Year of the Cat. So he played the whole album Year of the Cat in a concert that I attended with another friend of mine, Brian. Shout out, Big Bry. And then uh, Nick and I and Brian and our other brother Londo went to see. Al Al Stewart about eight months later here in Tucson. So good. Don McLean. American. He was like 72 or 73. And we saw, yeah, him with with Don McLean. And Al Stewart just stood there on stage playing his six string. And he also plays, by the way, harmonica. He plays keyboards. I think he plays drums. And his voice quality hasn't changed a bit. He sounds wonderful. So good. The only difference is he's got short hair. And he looks like like, like an executive at uh, IBM or something. No, I swear, if you you saw him wearing like overalls, he'd look like, uh, you know, he could be Amish. I mean, that's what he looks like. (laughs) But when he was young, he kind of looked kind of like... you can get anything you want. Uh, Arlo Guthrie. Arlo Guthrie. Yeah, that's right. He had long hair yeah. and everything. But if you saw him now, clean cut and shaven. But a uh, tremendous presence what on a stage. What a talent. Articulate, funny, entertaining. He is the creator of what's become known as historical rock. He takes history themes and has introduced them into songs throughout his album uh, catalog. And one of those is going to be in the song I have selected to present to you, our second selection, which is the song Nostradamus, which where he actually goes in and retells the prophecies of Nostradamus for the 20th century. Kind of fascinating. Yeah. But hey, before we get started, we first of all thank you again for joining us. But please remember, subscribe, like, and share if you like what you're hearing today. If you have subscribed, we thank you so much. Yeah, one more thing. Just make sure you listen to all the different instrument placements, the way that they come in on this song. I think Alan Parsons did such a great job producing this album. It is so well recorded. Recorded and so well written. Al, what a shout out to you, man. You are a stud. This song is so good. Yeah. And uh, 
just a little fair warning. This is going to be a long video, but it's going to be worth your while because these songs are miraculous and the talent of Al Stewart comes to the forefront. If you're not familiar with him, I encourage you to go back and look at his catalog. He isn't just Year of the Cat. He's a lot of other great, great songs. And let's start with Nick's selection. All right, are you ready to hit it? This is Time Passages. Number one on the chart. The album. 10 weeks. Time Passages. 78. Al Stewart. Carries you away. 
Okay, nice. Finky, I love that me, that Al Stewart. I tell you, that song is so great. I He introduces a little bit of sax in the beginning. He introduces a little bit of, le- uh, of electric guitar. Then he brings in the acoustic guitar. Then he brings in the orchestra. Then you get that note from Phil Kenzie on that high alto sax. I, you know, I didn't realize that till you mentioned it. And then it came right back down Man. into range. What a note to hit and hold God, like that. Wow. It's so good. And then they do that. Uh, don't, don't. Don't, you don't even expect that to come in. It's like, where'd that come from? Kudos to, to Alan Parsons, too, because he is a genius at composing or, you know, uh, making a song to embellish a song to just get the most out of it. He's so good. And then you add Al Stewart's unique vocal quality to it. His I mean, lyrics. he has this soft, gentle authority as he controls the song, moves it through. With I his, know you're with, in there, but you're out of sight. <laughs> What a wonderful song. What did you think of Time Passages? Leave us your comments on that. He's wonderful. Uh, a great selection, Nick. A beautiful, beautiful and song. And we got another good one coming up. And you're gonna, I think you're going to find this one really, really fascinating and unique and different because it's really going back to the more natural folk rock sound yeah. of Al Stewart, away from orchestration and production, heavy production values, but it's got the purity of his voice and his tremendous sense of lyricism and melody songwriting. So we'll be back after we change the CD. So we'll be right back with you. Take down for the intermission. See you soon. Hold on. Love it. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, thanks for being patient during the intermission here. And we're ready to get on to our second selection from Al Stewart, which I think you're really going to enjoy. This is from uh, his fifth studio album. It came out in 1973 in England, 1974 in the U.S. And it really was the springboard yep. that this drew is, attention the one. Yep. to Al Stewart. Yep. This album. There's a song here called Roads to Moscow, which was played a lot on some FM stations. Uh, this song I'm going to play was a little too long for a lot of AM formats and, and other ones but it became a huge huge popular song that he played in a lot of his concerts and stuff like that and it harkens back to the beginning of really what Al Stewart is about where he takes historical subject matter and introduces it with contemporary music things and rehearsals. this is called Nostradamus about the 15th century prophet Nostradamus who made incredible predictions a lot of which have sort of come true and a lot of people hold the prophecies in high regard uh, and he even it's like a litany of all the prophecies it's done so well but it's basically Al Stewart on guitar with a little bit of bass and very minimal background it's really a tremendous engaging song and uh, we're really looking forward to playing it for you I haven't heard it in a while and if you've never heard it you're in for a treat so here we go from past present and future Al Stewart Nostradamus It seemed 
and I stood alone On the veil of all the years Go sinking from my eyes Like a stone Wasn't that a little Paul Simon riff in there? That was cool. Bass comes in. Minimalist song, so nice. A king shall fall and put to death by the English Parliament. Shall be fire and plague to London come in the year of six and twenty-three. An emperor of France shall rise, who will be born near Italy. His rule, cost his empire dear. Napoleon, his name shall be. We get Napoleon there. Bend those strings. From Castile to Franco, come and the government driven out shall be. An English king seeks divorce, and from his throne cast down is he. One named Hister shall become a captain of greater Germany. No law does this man observe, and bloody his rise and fall shall be. We know who that is. believe that's Hitler being yeah. predicted by Nostradamus. Tuned to a G on that. Nice solo here. Gotta be. Sounds so troubadourish and, 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 and mystical. You know? Celtic. Yeah, Celtic's a good word. I'm telling you, he's tuned to a he's gotta be tuned to a G. I'm telling you. He's just I, I thought he was he had a capo at the beginning, but could be, I don't remember. like some Celtic troupe of dancers with him while he's playing and this Bend those strings. Now it almost sounds Eastern. That's a 12 string. the mushrooms. <laughs> like the cord goes down to it. 
here. Back into the theme. Magical song that is. My God, it, it takes you on a journey uh, through music, through sound, through memory, and then the, the the eerie mysticism of the prophecies of Nostradamus. And then some of it resonates so powerfully, talking about the suggestion that the you know two three brothers born to rule, but two shall die before their hour. And, and then out of the oh, east, obviously, uh, talk about Russia, the rise of Russia. It talks about the fall of the Berlin Wall, and then the great great line. I am the eyes of Nostradamus. All your ways are known to me, man, man. Your time is sand. Uh, you know, uh, you know. All your ways are known to me. I mean, it's just like you imagine this this mystical wisdom across the centuries. And there were certain uh, there were certain parts of that song that really did make me hearken to Paul Simon. I mean, that there was almost a kind of homage done to to Paul could Simon be. there. Yeah, there is. It does there, sound like little riffs. You know that, and you could see. Imagine the conversations or the jam sessions. But I mean, him and Paul Simon sitting in, you know, a flat in England playing in 1970 when they met. And, I mean, must have been well, pretty Paul, And Paul Simon at that time, obviously, you know, the, the work of yeah, Simon and Garfunkel. a bunch of stuff. They were, he was writing songs like about America. Oh, and, yeah. You know, and, and narrative songs, you know, thinking of larger issues of time and, and connection to society and the world. And this song has that kind of... A kind of a timeless global quality. Now, I hope we really don't lose you guys because you guys are just into some, you know, great standard rock and roll or prog music. This song here, though, I think just is a, a encapsulates the talent of Al Stewart yep. and and takes us to another level. It's an it's a different style altogether. We all yeah. know that, but you got to appreciate the way he put that song together and created a story that will last through the ages. That's right. Great, great song. Both of them are wonderful songs. We hope you enjoyed our tribute to Al Stewart. Uh, be sure to please subscribe, like, and share. Tell your friends about us. We care for your ears. And Nick and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for being a part of our journey. So, Hillary, Al Stewart for you. Al Stewart for you, Hillary, baby, and Warren. Yeah. We love you both. Anyway, until next time, everyone, thanks for being with Nick and Narf. We'll see you at the next one. Signing off. Bye-bye.